recognize here the difference of exhaust open or exhaust closed. Welcome back to another episode of What the Truck. You got me, Solomon, and you're watching Ford Era. Today we got this awesome 1986 F-150 and it's Rodney. Rodney, brother, What the Truck. Uh, hey guys, um, so the truck is uh, an 86 model, um, started out, uh, my dad bought it back in, uh, my dad bought it back in 89, I think, uh, could have been 90, uh, hadn't went back and really studied the paperwork to see, uh, it was one owner when he got it, um, then uh, he drove it until I was 15 years old, uh, gave it to me in 99. Uh, passenger door was crushed in uh had a uh, concrete up in the exhaust pipes concrete on the back uh bumper and he was like hey look it's your truck to uh get like you want so uh we had a little cheap paint job put on it and uh drove it through high school till i was probably 19 and it just sat in the barn uh until i was probably 22 years old and uh had a guy local he uh, repainted the truck it's actually this paint job that's on it now I'm 37 years old, so that kind of tells you how old the paint job is. It's still in that good a condition. Wow. I would have um, thought it was just painted. No, it's been painted for a uh, uh, year. Is it a single stage or, or uh, it's, it's base coat clear coat? It's a base coat clear coat. It's got about five coats of clear on it, I think. Okay, so you've been doing some good buffing. Yeah, it's been, it's, it's been buffed a couple of times. Uh, it's been uh, Recently, it was wet, sanded, and buffed before we uh, came out to the first show. Um, uh, original dash, original headliner. Um, wow. Yeah. So that's the uh, factory color, the factory interior. Factory color in the interior. Wow. Um, uh, that is the factory grill. Those are the factory bumpers. That is the factory trim. Uh, the trim has been redone with chrome uh, and we painted, it used to have the vinyl piece in it, like the front. Uh -huh. So we went back and painted oh. the interior, the inside of the trim right and there. It looks slick. Um, uh, the only thing, there's every panel on the truck is factory. Uh, the door obviously was caved in. We fixed it. Uh, the only only thing on the truck that's not factory glass wise is the windshield all the rest of the glass in it is factory 86 model uh, we put a 331 stroker in the truck uh, probably 15 years ago with the AODE and tried to make it work wouldn't work it was terrible and uh, dad and I about two years ago right down the road and uh, we're like hey let's uh let's do a county swap <laughs> So uh, I tried to talk him into it, and uh, he finally come around. I sent him several YouTube videos, and he's like, hey, look, I think this is where we need to go. So uh, we contacted a guy named Randy Welch, Welch Co. Hot Rods. Uh, he is uh, he's from uh, Vestavia, originally from my hometown, which is Clanton, Alabama. He moved back home and uh, built a shop there. Um, he's been awesome to work with. He's cranky. He's old. Uh, he's decrepit he'll like this when he sees the video <laughs> but uh he does a great job uh great attention to detail and uh, he hired a good friend of mine jeremy noah and uh uh, uh <clears throat> they did a great job on the truck uh jimmy dean he did all the engine work he works he works for randy uh it's got all uh billet internals on well billet time and chain set uh it's got uh upgraded oil pump remote oil filter I'll uh, put a VMP blower on it. Uh, it's got the original, it's got the factory uh, 6R80 transmission. And I actually had advanced adapters, built an adapter to go from the 6R80 to the factory 208. So it's got the factory transfer case in it. Wow. Um, steel twin I-beam, four drive. We put 411 gears, uh, put a uh, limited slip in the rear with Yukon shafts in the back. Uh, we took the truck down, um, to absolutely nothing but the frame every nut bolt on the truck was completely disassembled we powder coated everything suspension uh front rear end parts frame uh fuel tank uh everything on the truck except body panels has been powder coated um fat fender garage was a huge help uh jason and those guys they put out a great product uh he didn't currently have anything for the bullnose model trucks when we built this truck 
but through several emails and dimensions and measuring uh they were able to 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 give me some confidence that their products would work with this truck we had to modify a few things for fuel tank and stuff but uh everything else worked out great and uh so this truck's full of uh fat fender parts uh they were great to work with and uh the headers were the only thing that we had a little issue with we had to do some cutting and retigging on the headers but they turned out really well um but other than that uh marshall adams he works for me and my dad uh personally in our uh paint and body shop and uh he 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 redid uh he did all the trim work um he did the interior on it tmi built the interior uh but he installed all the interior he redyed uh, all the trim panels the dash has not been redyed but everything else in the truck has been repainted or dyed to go back to original dakota digital gauges um it's got a uh, uh, power by the hour uh, ecm wire and harness vapor works uh fuel management system uh bmp blower uh fat fender radiator so all that stuff worked out real good factory suspension parts uh, sitting at factory ride height right now with 32s and uh, with the VMP blower uh, Kurgan Motorsports in Georgia. They did a great job tuning the truck. Uh, it made uh, 571 on the ground. Wow. So uh, it did really well. Uh, Bob so, Kurgan. That's what you're saying is it blows those 32s off. Yeah, uh, at, at, at a 40 <laughs> or 50 roll, it still blow them out. Wow. So uh, it hooks pretty good if you roll into boost. But if you boost it hard, it, it blows the tires so off. So do you have to put those traction bars for that reason? Well, I put them on there for looks. Okay. And uh, they've actually worked out pretty well. My mom is the only person actually that's took a full ride in the truck. And uh, she really liked it. She's always been skeptical. We've worked on this truck for years. She's like, I don't I don't believe it's going to run. I, you know, I, I'm skeptical that to even take a ride in, I don't know if it's going to run. But uh, with the help of Randy and, and Jeremy and Bob, it, it just, it works really well. Well, that's awesome. So, well, let's show them. Yeah. Let's, let's walk around it. So let's start, I guess, in the bottom, just so everybody can see. I mean, I showed a little bit on the Battle and Bama. I mean, we're still over here at Battle and Bama, but we're filming this and you guys aren't seeing it at the same time. So his whole frame, as you can see, everything has been powdered. It's just beautiful. And then out back, he has the uh, track bar. Everything again, old nice powder. And then I mean, dude, I can't believe the paint is, like you said, almost 20 years old. That yeah, is crazy. It is. Wow. Uh, a guy named Larry Varden painted it. It's not in business anymore. But uh, Larry Larry did a great job on it years ago. He put it on a rotisserie and, and, and did a, a great job on TMI it. TMI stuff's beautiful. Yeah, TMI so they, did a great job. They make this, this is a full kit for them, right? It this is. Truck. It is, and I was very lucky. I got ahead of, I got ahead of COVID when i ordered this kit oh. and uh, i actually got it in about three months wow i can't believe that's that's the factory headliner it's factory headliner and the dash factory visors i, I can't and the factory visors i can't believe the dashboard's not all cracked no. up or faded no it's in great shape it's crazy uh dakota gauges like he said it's got an amp sub mounted uh amp amps behind the driver's seat subs mounted in the uh in the console in the center console nice yeah that's awesome nothing crazy these are beautiful that's awesome and uh oh didn't even have to say anything one of my favorite parts uh randy when we were building the truck randy was like hey we need to make this truck stand out and i was like well number one it's going to stand out because it's a bullnose and nobody builds bullnoses it's like the most unpopular truck in the world right now we're here at battle of the bama and you know there's 700 c10s here and you know there this is the this is one of maybe three yeah bullnoses yep here. and definitely the only four-wheel drive yeah and uh he's like we need to do something to make this thing stand out so he talked me and my dad uh alan into putting the blower on it Ooh. and uh because i was all against it because the coyote motor with the plenum cover and all just yeah. cleans everything up so well he was like you need something to make this truck stand out so we did the blower and then he did electric cutouts on it so it's a uh it's it's really a, uh something fun to yeah. to use you guys will hear that those electric cutouts in a minute those and this is it's a really clean swap i mean it it, it kind of it, obviously you know by looking at the truck that it would never have been in there originally but it really fits like 
if it was supposed to be there. It does. Uh, the only regrets to anybody that's going to do a Coyote swap, I would have used a Mustang motor instead of a, a oh, truck it's motor. Oh, it's an F-150. It's an F-150 motor. The Mustang motor, the bracketry and all is easier to work with. Ah, but I told that. Randy, one of the things I wanted with the truck was ease, ease of maintenance. So uh, we could have hit everything behind the dash like everybody does and yeah, put, all the wiring put and all. panels and all in here to cover everything. But uh, I want to drive this truck because I've drove it since I was a kid. So we got everything easy to work on. I like to hear you say that because it's people that, you know, would walk by the truck would be like, wow, that's a show truck, mm -hmm. you know? And in a way it is a show truck because you're here at a show and you're showing it right. and everything's powdered and clean and, you know, nice and wiped down. And it's like, okay, but I'm going to drive it. That's right. At the end of the day it's got four wheels that's and right. i need to i need to get to the show that's right so i plan, I plan on driving the truck a good bit and uh, i mean i've drove it twice and i've i've, I've you know I've, I've treated it pretty rough the 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 two times i've driven it so, hell yeah uh it's, it's it's built for fun what's the point of it if yeah. not right built for fun you guys a little front suspension action nice i-beams so are those just factory i-beams factory i-beams nice awesome Coyote powder coating did all the did all the powder coating. Uh, they're in uh, Alabama as well. We're from we're from Central Alabama. Here, there's a little mama over here guarding her eggs. And she's telling us to back away. <laughs> this video could get Man, interesting. I, all this is the factory trim. Okay, so all this is the factory trim, except for this piece of here. Yeah. Uh, you, it's usually the reflector one. It is, and it broke, and okay. I couldn't find one anywhere. And uh, Marshall, he uh, he came to us. He was like, "Hey, I think I can make something out of aluminum." So uh, he took a piece of aluminum and uh, beveled it out, made it look right, painted it to match, mounted the Ford symbols, just the decal, just like it was from the factory, bolted it on, and it turned out great. Uh, and Randy was a big proponent of this. Uh, it eat our pocketbook alive, but every single bolt on the truck, period, has been gone back. They're all polished stainless. Wow. Everything is polished Damn. stainless. We got a nice coating in here. Oh, here's your little show board. That's awesome. Show you guys the back of it. You said it's a Fat Fender Garage fuel tank? Yes. Fat Fender Garage uh, engine install, engine transmission, radiator, uh, fuel tank, headers. Nice. Well, I'm gonna bust the drone out for you guys, get some cool shots, and we'll see you in a second. All right, so we've been flying the drone around. Now it's time to spin it around. We get the other side. Boom.
video is over. Hope you guys enjoyed. I had a fun time. I mean, this truck is gorgeous. Rodney definitely outdid himself on building it. But uh, like always, if you guys can, give us a thumbs up in the video. It really helps. Have any questions, drop a comment below. If you enjoy the content, consider subscribing and uh, go check out FordArrow.com. We got all types of merch and other good stuff. So we'll see you.